In the entire question, let's first focus on this phrase divided by 10. I am sure in this question, those factorials are actually scaring you. So let's understand the behavior of 10 with smaller numbers. Like when 5 is divided by 10, the remainder is 5. Or when 43 is divided by 10, the remainder is 3. Or if the number is 5, 9, 7, 6, 3, 2 is divided by 10, the remainder is 2. Now, if you observe the remainders, they are basically the unit digit of the dividends. So, here we need to find the unit digit of the equation n. And in equation n, let's only take the factorials and forget about the power 40 for a moment. In this, let's focus on 5 factorial which is 120, 6 factorial is 720 and 7 factorial is 5040 and so on. 120 is divided by 10, the remainder is 0 or 720 divided by 10, the remainder is 0 or 50, 40 when divided by 10, it's 0 again. If you notice, from 5 factorial till 1000 factorial, on expanding those factorials and dividing them by 10, the remainder is always 0. As this part of the equation is 0, let's focus on the first 4 factorials, where 4 factorial is 24, 3 factorial is 6, 2 factorial is 2 and 1 factorial is 1. Let's add all of these numbers and this gives us 33. The sum of the remaining numbers is 33. If you observe, we did not divide 33 by 10 yet. So let's take 33 and now take the power 40. And we need to divide this by 10. Remember this part of the solution? To find the remainder of this means to find the unit digit of 33 power 40. And finally, to find the unit place, as 3 is there in the unit place of the base, step 1 is to take the power 40 divided by 4 because the cyclicity of 3 is 4 and find the remainder. The remainder is 0 which refers to the last term in 3 power n series and the last term in 3 power n series is 1. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.